guys, welcome to Ketaholic Kits YouTube channel. It's Corinne here today and I've got a Project Life spread for you. This is my first one that I've filmed. Um, to be honest, I've filmed a couple before and I've always thrown them out and not bothered to edit them because they take me so long. Um, but now... Uh, I just had to bite the bullet because you guys are asking for Project Life and I figured that if it was too long then I would either scrap it or um, do something else I suppose. So I hope that it's not too long for you. I have cut it down a lot so I hope it doesn't skip through too much. Um, I hope I haven't cut too much out for you because it's only a 10 minute video. I would have preferred 15. It took me two and a half hours. Um, to record so I've cut out a fair bit of fiddle and that you guys don't need to see so I hope it's not too much and I'm just doing my uh, week 27 uh, title card um, yes I'm a little bit behind but not too much I like to be a bit behind because um, I will I've just printed 14 weeks of photos for Project Life so now I will work on that for the next two or three months if that I do about four weeks of project life depending on how many um, what do you call it how many I can get in the kit sorry if you can hear that car in the background it's very loud okay it's gone radio so um yeah I tend to do four weeks of project life per kit or maybe three depending on you know how much I have to do depending on how long the weeks are um but yeah I like to to do a few um so I'm already on to my second card this photo was taken uh when I actually went down and met Steph with the kids for school holidays and we went to the park for a picnic so that was super fun I'm um, trying to use up a bit of washi. I love using washi in Project Life. Um, it just helps. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like if I stick something on the piece of paper just in a random spot, um, it doesn't look grounded. So the washi tape, if you put it from the corner going in or something like that, it just adds a grounding for your embellishments to go on top. And I really like that. So I'm on to my um, uh, titling, oh, what do you call it, journaling card and I won't make you watch through the journaling so I hope it's not going too fast for you and I hope you can't hear those kids screaming in the background, they're playing on the Wii, like I said it's school holidays, it's the second week so hopefully they will go back to school <laughs> soon, <laughs> um, it's been alright, they're playing they're um doing just dance and they're having fun so as long as they're having fun while I'm working then that's okay by me because they're um entertained <laughs> and leaving me alone so I am making another journaling card for the other side of that photo um I struggled with this one a bit I didn't know where I was going to put the photos so I had to move them around a lot but I cut all that out so you guys didn't have to sit through it because it was a bit of a pain. Um, and I like outlining cards. I should have got my typewriter out to put the journaling on. I don't really like writing it on there sometimes. It's okay, but I um, prefer it. But I just can't be bothered. Even though it's set up right beside me and it would have taken two seconds. But it doesn't matter. It's written on there now and that's, you know, and it's done. And that's what matters one day I'll look back and you know be happy that my handwriting is included because you know people won't always know what it looks like um so again I'm just grounding the embellishments I'm going to put on this photo sorry that one was a little bit cut off I do show some close-ups a lot of them um because I haven't done project life before I zoomed in so you guys could see I've never zoomed in before. I usually just do it from, you know, from a distance. So I'm glad that most of the things that I was doing was kept on camera because some of it wasn't um, and you'll see that some of it's not. 
so I'm really sorry about that but it's just a trying to get used to it most of it was kept in so I'm pretty pleased um, now I'm starting on the second page already and I'm just adding to that strip that's already there I really don't like this card um, sometimes I do that you know you make something you just don't like it but it's made it's in there now and I'm moving on I just added some more washi to it so it looked like it was embellished a little bit um, I like to do more embellishing usually so that's probably why I don't like it but it's all right it's done I love this card this is my favorite one out of the whole um, week yep it's a week <laughs> because it's a this is a double page spread um, we did a lot on this weekend which is the photos that I'm scrapbooking now um, we went to the snow for kids it's a thing run at South Bank and um, we haven't seen the snow. I know this is man-made snow, so technically it's not real, but the kids got to play in it and throw snowballs and, you know, all the fun stuff. So that's what matters. Um, yeah, so I really love the way that this card turned out. I should have left that gold sparkly heart on there, but I thought there was enough gold on there, so I went with this pink one instead. Now, this wood grain paper is actually the packaging from the Maggie Holmes um, products. I think her stickers, which I'm using now, um, and some other things. They all came with the wood grain background from the Willow Lane collection. And I kept all of it, and I've just cut it down. I've used this piece to make two Project Life cards, so it's just a touch under what um a three by four so i've just added a white border around it and i really like um doing that sometimes you know it's just a bit different um my set i use a selfie to print my photos so if you're wondering why all of my photos in my project life are backed with um pattern paper that is why i um the selfie doesn't print um true size four by six or whatever so um all my photos i tend to cut them down to um a quarter of an inch under on each side on both sides sorry on the horizontal and the vertical side and um and then i just add the pattern paper i kind of like it because it adds a bit of color behind the photos um sometimes it's a pain because you go through a lot of um paper but all in all uh, that's what it's for you know better off using it than not using it which would be craziness so I'm just adding I've backed those clear stickers because um, sometimes they're a bit hard to see on the background so I've backed that one with white um, most of those ones I backed with white uh, unless I was sticking directly onto the photo so this card's pretty cute too just um, the kids and my partner on the sled um, and here's a photo of us these um, flowers were a little bit big so I've just left it go over the side and it doesn't look as bad adding some journaling and a couple of little stickers and I'll finish that one off um, that's my favorite paper in the kit by the way that and the blue paper it's very hard to cut up and it was sad because the other side of that beautiful paper there is that pink floral. This is the last card and I add stars on this one, which I don't normally do. But um, yeah, I have to use them up, so I am. <laughs> um, usually I'm a sucker for hearts and the stars will just sit on my stash. So I'm making an effort to use them up. So please let me know um, how I went with my first Project Life video. Um, let me know if it's if I've cut too much out or if um, it's all right and I'll try to do more of it for you guys um, I hope you've enjoyed today's video I'll see you next week with our new kits how exciting as always still photos at the end of the video thanks for watching guys bye